Hi, this is St. Lulu, and here is a review of the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. I'm going to review what it's like when you get it out of the box and what you get with it. Um, first of all, um, I'd like to say that the carnage from the box is right there. It's a little over a foot long and wide square box, and that package up there is where all the styrofoam and stuff that came with it is. So you're going to have to deal with that. Um, I got the red because I thought it looked nice in my kitchen with my stainless black maple cabinets, pumpkin walls. I thought that would be the best. So, the red. Now, it's pretty chunky, so you're going to have to have space for it. Um, if you can see next to the toaster and such, how chunky it is. So it takes up quite a bit of space. And then you're going to have to find a space for all these utensils and accoutrements. So keep that in mind. Now, in the back, it has an air vent. You want to keep it about five inches away from the wall. And also, the plug is pretty long in the cord on the plug. So you can just hook it up somewhere and scooch it down if you have to. The new, the new feature of this oven is that it opens from the side rather than a pull down from the top or a basket that you pull out. And it has um, three racks that go in here and it looks like it has a pretty good uh, cooking capacity. You have, there were three racks. You also have a screen that you put on the top that um, is supposed to protect the, uh, the heating element and these are pretty easy to get in. Well, they were easy. They're easy if you have two screens, but it's not too hard. So anyway, there's that. And then there's the window. The window is able to pop up and you're able to pull it out so you can wash it. Because I guess they had a problem with those where you'd get something leaking in there and it would uh, you know, be really hard and you couldn't clean it out. So there's that. Um, this, these are the accoutrements. There's a round basket you're supposed to put french fries in there and stuff, I guess popcorn shrimp. And then there's the fry basket that comes with a handle. You put the handle in by squeezing the tongs together. Then you slide it in there. You wouldn't want the rack in there while you're doing it. Then it pops off. You wanna be careful with this thing because it had some sharp edges right here. I had to take my emery board and file it down and it finally made it smooth, but it almost cut me. Well, then we have the rotisserie rack, which has another hazard. These little things that come on are very, very sharp, like as if you took a can lid off a can. That's how sharp they are. So be careful when you're putting chickens and stuff on there. These little skewers also go in, as well as the rotisserie feature, so that you can do kebabs. And it comes on this rack so that you're supposedly able to carve something on the rack. These are the little... Um, skewers that you stick the chicken with to get it to stay on there they're really sharp so be careful with those and um, there's the skewers and this is a handle for the round basket <clears throat> it looks kind of flimsy I'm thinking about getting a glove or something to pull stuff out with you also get the uh, air fryer of an elite owner's manual which is pretty okay it tries but it doesn't really explain how to do the skewers and the, the rack very well. You kind of have to figure that out for yourself. Everything else is good. It gets you started on air fryer cooking. Then you get these uh, these uh, cookbooks. One's the favorite fried foods, one's the dehydrated foods, and one's the rotisserie foods. Um, they've got some pretty basic stuff in it. You open it up, you see the air fryer fried foods? Uh, has a picture of french fries on the front, yet there's not a recipe for french fries. So it's a mystery on how to cook french fries in the air fryer oven. It's got some other recipes, some nice pictures, some don't have pictures, some do. be interesting to see if you could cook one of everything in here and see how that turned out. Then it's got the rotisserie and the dehydrated creations. So that's everything in a nutshell.
Um, the pros of this are hopefully it'll be worth the $199, almost $200. My husband's kind of skeptical and I have to kind of help convince him that this was a worthy purchase. But it was for my birthday anyway, so happy birthday to me. Another pro, another pro of this is that it's not going to heat up the kitchen a lot. And I think that that's really important. And also, I'm not going to end up cooking too many tater tots at once because um, it's got, you can only fit so many in this basket or on the racks. So, you know, for a fat girl, that's probably a good thing. Now, um, some of the cons of this item are, like I said before, the sharp edges on the basket. Be careful and inspect everything you get from it. Try to make it, um, put it together, see if it works. Make sure that, you know, it does work. As I said before, I thought these racks were pretty easy to get in and out if you had two hands. The oven door is kind of janky. It kind of closes hard and catches right here. But we'll see how that goes with time. So, uh, stay tuned. My first uh, cooking experiment will be with tater tots. There is no tater tot recipe or um, even french fries for that matter. But there's a... Um, french fry control button so i'll be using that when i cook the tater tots so stay tuned for reviews by saint lulu i'll be cooking the tater tots soon